anger management is important for you to stay in divine purpose or calling hello my lovely people how are you doing good morning good afternoon and good evening wherever you are watching this from you are super welcome to this episode where i am discussing about anger management if you are a returning subscriber welcome back and guys you know you mean a lot a lot a lot to me because we have walked this journey and you have not left me if you are new here you are super welcome and the many the merrier the longer you stay the happier we are and the more learning we shall share as we walk this walk of salvation as christians sorry about the voices in the background but i had to continue nonetheless with my study but they are people talking uh, out here behind this door but i think i am audible enough guys so you are super welcome consider subscribing always remember to click the like button always comment always watch full length guys because that way you are participating in spreading the gospel to the ends of the earth ask me why i am told that that is how youtube sees that this is a channel that is likable or viewer viewed by many so they keep the videos afloat and recommend them to different groups of people so that uh, they also benefit from such good content this is a clean content that you can watch with your own children it is as clean it is a christian content i break down big concepts to smaller workable tips so that you are able to apply them to see the good in the land of the living i also get to share things that we never get a chance to ask in an ordinary church service as the sermon is going on we never get a chance to raise your hand and say excuse me sir i wanted to ask so if you have any question always feel free to drop it in the comment section below here and we shall discuss it if you want one-on-one -on -one with me i always leave my contact in the description box uh, you can chat with me and we pray together and we share together without further ado let us discuss anger management yeah uh there is an amazing man in the bible <laughs> you all know he was short-tempered and this was none other than moses moses in the old testament you remember at one time he saw an egyptian fighting with uh, a jew and he killed <laughs> and hid the guy in the sun but also in the journey as they moved from egypt to the promised land he had his moods sometimes perturbed by the israelites like he would get anger and take action the wrong way for instance uh, there is a time when he was to strike the rock once and he struck it twice and that was a mistake because of not managing his anger and you all we all know that this guy did not arrive in the promised land why because of such issues failing to manage his anger you know and when you don't manage your anger right somehow you offend in the spirit for instance he lost it when he strike the rock twice because that was a key element in the spirit because it was a sign that christ was to die once and for him he struck the rock twice we know the rock is christ he is our rock of ages so he erred in spirit by killing christ twice like that analogy you understand so he ended up missing reaching the promised land but he had other issues 
if you read his story in the Bible. So that's why he ended up not arriving at the promised land. So it is important if you are to keep in your divine purpose, to keep in your destiny, you need to manage your anger right so that you don't make wrong decisions in your life. And there are people, oh my God, they can lose it quickly. So we need to control ourselves. This is where we call for self-control. To say, even if they say what, I am not going to get out of my peace. I am not going to lose it here. So when you ask the spirit, he is able to help you out so that you manage well your emotions. Let us read Romans 10 verse 2 and we see what it says. Yeah, it is here. It says, For I can testify about them that they are zealous for God, but their zeal is not based on knowledge. It is important that you put wisdom in everything that you do so that you don't lose. Regardless, you might be hungry for God. You might have all the zeal sold out for Christ. But when it comes to anger management, you find that you are losing it. You are not using your knowledge to discern that in this case I needed to be quiet than to quarrel with an unbeliever, than to quarrel and display a negative picture for the sake of the gospel, you know. So it is important to manage your anger Otherwise, you might miss out on divine purpose. You might miss uh, inviting a soul to the kingdom. You might be misunderstood. So, it is important as Christians to be able to have self-control about our emotions, especially when you are rubbed wrong. Do not be quick to lose temper. All right, guys, this is as short as it is. Stay blessed. Keep watching. Give the video a like. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, also watch my videos that I share about my lifestyle here in Africa. I bring them in to relax the channel. <laughs> Not all the time to be about the word, the word, the word, but I also take you around to show you how we are living by the grace of God here in Africa. So stay blessed. I'll definitely see you on my next one. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for today and I thank you for the word that we have shared. We pray, oh God, for the peace that surpasses all human understanding. We pray that you he give us the composure all the time in case we need it, especially when we are rubbed wrong, when we are pushed to the wall. May we be able to control our anger, our emotions. May we be guided by the knowledge of God that even with the zeal to preach the gospel, may we not lose it out there. If non-believers abuse us, may we be able to take it in because we know that also comes with this good news. We pray, my Jesus Christ, that you continue using us in different ways. I pray for my viewers. I pray for my subscribers. I know, especially in this time, oh God, may they not lack any good thing because your word tells us that it is you who maintains our Lord, so God. So continue providing because you are our source. We do not depend on this worldly economy. For us, our needs are met even in 
when others are in crisis you are our oasis oh god we can never run out of water my jesus christ you provide even in the desert we are well catered for we pray my jesus christ that you continue teaching us in these videos as i share my god may you continue using me and for the rest of the viewers who are in this same desire to share may you give them the confidence the grace and the word for the season i pray all this believing in the name of jesus christ our lord amen stay blessed i'll definitely see you on my next one peace adios